Hi, this is Sarah from Made on the Comment, and in today's video, I've got a quick um, tip, a uh, template tip for you, all about starting a new year in your bookkeeping template. So this video is for you if you own one of the Made on the Common bookkeeping spreadsheets, and it doesn't matter which version um, you have, they all work in the same way. So you might just have the small business template, um, you might have one of the more automated templates that work with your e-commerce platform, so Etsy, Amazon, eBay, Shopify and Squarespace, where you drop your data in, kind of you download it from your platform, drop it in and have all of the sales and fees calculated. Or just one of the manual ones where you add all of your income and expenses, um, kind of add any other data you like manually, um, and they all pull through onto these reports. So assuming that you've now got to the end of 2022 or whatever your business year is, and you want to start using the file now for 2023, what do you do? So there are two options that I have for you. Um, regardless of which one you choose, I would always recommend saving a copy of this um, once you've finished doing your numbers, you've kind of submitted your tax return. I would always save a copy of the file as is, um, so don't make any changes to it after you've submitted your tax so that you can always get back to those same numbers just in case anything were to go funny in the future and your numbers kind of get um, corrupted or changed you want to make sure you can always get back to the numbers that you've just reported so before you do anything else save a copy of this as your 2022 kind of final submission and you know you've always got it there if you need it in the future so then going into 2023 there are two options so the first is that you just start a completely new um, copy of this file. So you leave 2022 sat in here. When you get to start 2023, you kind of start with a blank file. So if I go back here, this is kind of, again, the same file, the Etsy bookkeeping template, but just a blank one. So it always has one line of data in. So you can either go back to Etsy and download the file that you kind of originally purchased, which is one option, and then just start using it for 2023 and drop your data into here. Um, you would then, all you need to do is change the dates on here, 2023, let's say we want to start in January again, we'll drop our data in. So I've just dropped in my 2023 data for um, the payment account and for the Etsy order file. And if we now go to the 12 month report, you can see it's now pulling through numbers for 2023. And if we look at the annual summary, if I change this to um, 1st of January 23, you can see it's pulling those numbers through for 2023, but there's nothing in there for 2022 because we've started with a blank new file. So we haven't included the 2022 data. Um, so that's one option, but obviously you don't get a comparison. And actually I'd always recommend if you want to use this um, option and start with a clean file each year. I would recommend always making sure you're on the latest version of the file which you can find on the template hubs. So as part of your purchase you get access to the, um, the template hub where I keep all of the latest versions of the files so you'll be able to download the latest Excel or access the latest Google Sheets version. So that's probably worth doing um, just to make sure that you've always got the most up-to-date version of the file um, that's in kind of existence at that time. Um, if you haven't yet got access to your template hub, um, I've put the link down below this video so you can sign up and then I'll send you the link for whichever version of the templates you've got. So that's option one. So option two is to just keep using the same file and add your 2023 data into it. Um, just below your 2022 data. So the advantage of that one is if we look at the annual summary, you'll see that we now have 2022 data in here. So if I add the 23 data, if we go in this case, so in this sheet, I'm gonna just go back to the Etsy payment account. I've kind of scrolled down to the bottom of 2022 data and you can add your 23 straight below it. So if you don't see, um, you need to make sure there's a blank line here. If not, um, one easy way of doing it is if you just type anything in kind of on an empty cell. I just typed in a one um, and then you know you've got a couple of empty cells where you can start adding the data. It will then expand automatically. So if I copy in the data here, so I've dropped in the 2023 data below there and then I will need to do the same with the Etsy order file. 
I've dropped in the order there. And then if we go to the 12 month report, okay, so we're still on 2022. If I just change that to 2023, you'll see we now just look at 2023 data. So it's pulled through the first two months. If we go to the annual summary, you'll start seeing the current year is now updating and you now have a, a comparison for your prior year as well. So this is a really useful way um, if you don't have too much data, I'd always recommend you might as well keep everything in the one file and just keep expanding it each year. And that way you can go back and look at previous years. If I wanted to go back even further, I can still go back to 22 and actually I've got some 2021 data in here as well. So you can get a really good comparison of what's going on. Um, for the other income and other expenses sheets, again, they work the same way. So you would literally just start typing in any um, other income that you have for 2023. So and the same with other expenses. And then again, on the 12 month report, you can see that's just popped up and it will appear on the annual summary. If we switch that back to 2023 see that's now coming so those are the two options for starting a new year you either start a completely blank new file um, and just keep each year completely separate or just add your data kind of keep going down the sheets any of the data sheets where you're adding stuff so your yeah, it's payment account your order file if you've got the Etsy order by item file um, which is in some of the versions you would do that and exactly the same with Amazon eBay Shopify any of those data sheets just keep adding them further down the sheet and your reports will automatically update depending on the dates that you've selected.